Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at summarizing short and sweet. Um, we're going to be taking a look at how do we get to the point, but don't miss out on the important things. So for example, if your parents were to ask you how your day was at school, um, on a normal school day, not at home, um, they wouldn't be expecting you to say, well, first I got off the bus, then I saw my friend and I waved hello, and then I saw Mr. Campman and I waved hello, and then I walked into the school and I saw Mr. Brad and I said hello, and then I walked down the hall and I put my backpack on my coat hook, and then I took off my jacket, and then I went and got a drink of water because I was thirsty, and then I went to the bathroom, and then I washed my hands, and then I came back, and then, and then, and then, right? Um, you don't want to share all that information with them, and they don't want to hear it all. They want you to get to the good stuff. They want you to get to the stuff that you enjoyed, the stuff that you learned, the stuff that was fun and exciting. And so we're going to take a look at how do we do that when we're talking about books, and why do we summarize? So one of the reasons why we summarize is because it helps us remember what we read. It helps us kind of stick it in our brain and leave it there. So let's take a look at how we summarize, and let's keep on working on thinking about how to keep it short and sweet. All right, so summarizing short and sweet, keeping it simple, don't want to draw it out. We are going to take a look at a story, not take a look at a story, I'm not going to reread it to you, but we're going to look at the story, My Brother Dan's Delicious. Do you guys remember this story? It's about um, this boy who um, came home and he had a note from his parents that he was going to be home alone for a little while until they came back or until his brother came back. And so he's convincing um, all of these monsters that he, um, that his brother Dan is delicious through the story. And then at the end of the story, well, we'll talk about it as we move through. But today I want to teach you that um, summarizing helps you understand the stories in our story, especially when you leave out the unimportant events. Kind of like how I was talking about earlier when your parents ask you how your day is. We leave some of the unimportant things out, like I got a drink of water before I went to class kind of thing. And how we're going to do that is we're going to be focusing on this idea of thinking about somebody wanted, but, so, and then. Five different questions that help us kind of summarize and sum up what we've read. So in this case, who is our main character or characters? And in this case, it's Dan's little brother. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember his name. Um, so we're going to put Dan's. I'm going to need to make that a little bigger. Okay. What did he want? What did the main character want? He wanted, well, it's more than what he didn't want, right? He did not want the monsters to get him. He wanted to be safe, right? But what was the problem of the story? Nobody else was there. So if there really were monsters in there, he was the only choice. So the problem is he's home alone. So how did the character try to solve the problem? Well, that's the title of the book, right? He tried to convince The monsters that his brother Dan's delicious. Then now here's the important part to remember. Sometimes the character's um, solution, the so, isn't always the same thing as the actual solution to the story. So what was the actual resolution of the story? I don't know if you guys remember, but right at the end, it was my brother Dan is my hero. And why was he his hero? Because he came home. So the solution was actually that his brother showed up. which kind of solves the problem of him being home alone and um, not being so afraid of the monsters that he's kind of pretending that he's not afraid of. Okay, 
So I would go back and if I was doing it like you guys are going to be doing, um, I would plug it into each of these um, sections that we just worked on. So that so I would put who's the main character, um, Dan's little brother, what do they want, but so then so I would put it all in there, all of those pieces that we just put together. Um, and then you're going to take all of those pieces that you just did and you're going to summarize them. You're going to take your somebody wanted, but so then into one paragraph. Okay. So if we think about the, the, the somebody, it's Dan's little brother did not want the monsters to get him, but he's home alone. So he tries to convince the monsters that his brother, Dan is delicious but his brother shows up. Then his brother shows up and kind of saves the day. So let's try that together. Okay, so we took the Dan's little brother, did not want monsters to get him. He's home alone, but he's home alone. So he tries to convince the monsters that his brother Dan's delicious. Then his brother shows up and saves the day. I'm gonna take all of those things and I'm gonna turn them into one paragraph that might look like this. Dan's little brother did not want the monsters to get him. Those are the, the who and the wanted. He was home alone, which is the problem, the but. Okay, So he tries convincing the monsters that his brother Dan is way more delicious than him, which is his solution, the so. And then the then, which is the actual resolution or solution to the story. Then Dan shows up to save the day. So here's your assignment today, summarizing short and sweet, same idea. Taking a look at your independent reading and figuring out who's your main character, the somebody, what did your character want with for the wanted, what was the problem for the but, how did the character try to solve the problem, the so, and remember the then is not always the same as the so because sometimes their solution is not the book's solution. The then is what is the actual solution in the story. It's possible that you have not finished your book yet, so summarize the last chapter that you've read. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions, and don't forget to post to Canvas. Keep up the good work, guys.